Hi everyone, I'm Bob Damiano from Rock Science. I did this video to yap about the microphone rebuilds that I do. This started out as my COVID hobby last year when the software side of the business got a wee bit slow. I began like others building DIY kits, reading the DIY forums and experimenting. Lots of experimenting. Eventually, I decided to make my own circuit designs. Before software, I was an electronics tech, so this was coming full circle for me. My transformerless FET circuit is based on the original Schultz design from the 70s with my own enhancements and tweaks. I call it the JASB, which stands for Just Another Schultz Board. Most modern transformerless mics are using some derivation of the original Schultz circuit. It's a simple design that does a great job of connecting a capsule which has billions of ohms of impedance to your mic preamp, which has only a few hundred ohms of input impedance. This is one of my transformerless builds now. This one's got a K47 style center terminated capsule and the Jazby circuit. It's got very low noise, great gain, a nice clean top end without any harshness or sibilance. I can build these into just about any microphone body, including my own branded RS47 like this one. This board fits in most common cylindrical mics from MXL and others. It also fits in the BM800 style mics you see on Amazon for 20 bucks. I also did a version that fits in the MXL 990. Same circuit, different shape. These are great mics to rebuild because they're nice and heavy, great mechanical design. When we're done, it's a really nice microphone. All of my boards have an optional internal pattern switch that can turn the mic into an Omni when you need it. My transformerless mics with a K47 capsule are really versatile. If I could have only one mic, this would be it. In fact, I produced a recording where every single sound was recorded with this kind of microphone. There was no EQ used on anything at all. Producing that tune got me really excited about these mics because any mic can sound okay in the context of a whole mix. But what if the whole mix is from one microphone? Does it work? I think it does. Later came some transformer coupled designs. Transformer designs are all over the map. I could have done a straight up U87 clone or something like that, but I decided to go simple and do what many have done before me and base my circuit on the Neumann KM84. This is the circuit from the famous Neumann pencil mic, but adapted for a large diameter capsule. It's a very simple design. Between the capsule and your mic preamp is an FET, a capacitor, and a Cinemag transformer, and that's it. So why are transformers cool? You get a lot of opinions on this, but for me, it's a couple of things. First, the transformer has a nice amount of harmonic distortion, especially in the low frequencies. This gives an amazing richness to low voices, electric bass, drums, other low and mid frequency sources. To use a term of art, they sound fat. Second is their dynamic response to transients. A hard strummed acoustic guitar or bright percussion like a tambourine or shaker gets a nice bit of compression, which gives these sounds a nice density that works really great in a mix. In addition to the K47 style capsules, I also build with CK12 style edge terminated capsules. These have a more extended and silky top end and work well in both transformerless and transformer coupled designs. So if you've got an MXL or a Sterling or similar microphone being neglected in the back of your locker, why not contact me and see what we can do with it? It's a very affordable way to turn that mic into a go-to. I tell people it may not be the first choice for everything, but it's a great choice for anything. I use them every day in my studio, and from what I see in my customers' reviews, they do as well. Thank you very much for your time.